If you become an enormously successful family, you started with nothing, build a you know, world-class enterprise. With good reason, you take great pride in the particular formula that led you to that success. The problem is that you know, many families end up believing that they themselves and they alone have the answers to their own future because they've been able to demonstrate that they can do a lot of things. So who's going to teach me anything? So piercing through that and actually saying to families, you may have been enormously successful you know, up to this point, but the reality is that often the challenges that are coming down the line for you, you haven't lived. So, and in fact, may require you to reassess the formula that made you successful. So you do have to earn that trust in that sense. But I think the most important thing is, again, instilling in families the kind of humility and the kind of, um, shall we say, uh, self-awareness to be able to know that they need to be on a learning curve as long as they're an enterprise family. Because the world changes. The, the circumstances of their businesses change. The legal systems change. Their kids and their grandkids will change. Uh, so that's the one given, right? So how do you impact these families so their adaptability to those changes can actually be enhanced? Now, education can happen in multiple forms. You know, some of it may come over a course in the web. Some of it may come by attending a program at a university. Some of it may come by having a, a customized in-house uh, seminar for a particular family. And each one of those venues has a particular advantage and a, a particular uh, cost. So, for example, when you attend a public program, you, you know, the curriculum hasn't been customized to you, although there's often, if it's a good program, a good deal of overlap, but the most valuable thing you get is meeting the other families. And the moment you start talking to a peer of maybe a family from India or a family from Hong Kong and are worlds away from your cultural background, you put them in a classroom, you start talking about issues of continuity and succession, and before you know it, they all share something in common. The awareness that comes from being in a classroom with different people and understanding how you are common, I think, is very powerful. We want to instill in families the notion of lifelong learning. For education to occur, you have to create the capacity as a family to literally hit pause in your life and reflect on how you're doing what you're doing. You know, I often say to people that experience without reflection is not learning. It's just experience. So creating for families the capacity, the language, the opportunities for them to pause and just simple things like how are you running your board? Uh, how are you developing your next generation? How are you addressing the complex issues of ownership that come with uh, uh, having an enterprise? You, you know, it sounds simple, but in fact, families don't do it. So what happens is that they are making choices, a stream of choices, and, and very seldom do they pause and then move up to 30,000 feet to look at the total picture of how are they going about what they're doing. All families have to bring themselves up to a level of understanding and respect of the issues before they can thoughtfully engage in solving their circumstances.